uh, we will just do the structural uh, model analysis for this part this is our chassis so we will do the model analysis of this part in soil docks uh, at this moment okay so this is this will be the tutorial on model analysis so now now if uh, let's go to the solidox add in solidox simulation uh, let's wait for a second until the solidox simulation tab comes in okay loading simulation type okay we, i have already done the simulation in this part so uh, let us uh, create a new study this will be frequency 2 not uh, the, the name will be model analysis analysis we will uh, check the frequency of this entire uh, structure thermal buckling and fatigue sub modeling drop test pressure vessel design okay we will do the model analysis our study will be model analysis so first of all we will define the material so my material is of course uh, s e i s i hello is still okay we will apply this close and now connections uh, connections fixtures let us apply the fixed geometry because we know this part is going to be fixed okay and this part is also going to be fixed in swing arm this part is going to be fixed on the front suspension above the front suspension so these two parts will be fixed and uh, also uh, i know that uh, external nodes are not going to affect the natural uh, frequency of the system uh, we are also giving force uh, we i am assuming that okay but before that before that let me go to the model let me uh, what is this this is sketch is it is sketch okay so it is sketch so now okay. <laughs> it is here uh, so why i am doing this uh, okay let me delete this sketch so let me encounter the problem first and i will do the sketch so uh, i know i know that uh, that i have to give the load uh, from this direction i'm assuming that in this direction 100 kg weight is uh, applied uh, so let me apply the load we will also do different analysis uh, based on this so this is my surfaces these are my surfaces in this part seat directly applies load the upper structural part are not included because they will make the system more complex uh, the uh, for the direction i need to sketch it here so uh, specifying direction i need a vertical line there is no vertical line so i will have to sketch it let's again go to the model sorry for the inconveniences let me sketch it right away okay this has been sketched now in the model analysis on the loads okay please exit okay i have not exited the sketch mode external loads force forces along this line forces along this line so what is the force okay non-uniform distribution uh, this so why why the sketch is not being selected <laughs> the selected direction so what is my selected direction this is my selected direction so force is uh, i'm applying 900 kg of weight so the weight will be minus uh, i don't know uh, y axis is this direction so okay not y axis i'm applying this direction okay 
980 newton 90 9.8 meter per second into 100 kg is 980 okay so any then i'll have to select the faces i think these and these are two faces uh let me reverse the direction because i know the force is going to be downward direction so this is the 100 kg of weight and also let me assume that uh, engine load is 20 kg force this is this again in the direction oh, okay so this is okay so this is 20 kg 20 is 2 20 kg into 9.8 it is 196 so this is it now we will generate the mass mm, uh, slightly fine mass because i don't uh, want to, i don't need my uh, calculations to be uh, very accurate i don't know why these lines are showing up here and there are no supports in here I don't know miss quality so I left track okay let me generate so let mess in progress the mess has been generated of uh, okay mm -hmm. so where is current script okay I think this mess is convenient for us uh, to analyze the system uh, let me run this study, okay? Let me run this study. It is solving model analysis. Uh, of course, uh, it is independent of the force, but this case, uh, I don't know, might be efficient, okay? So, deformation scale is 0 0.2308. Uh, now what we will do is we will generate the report okay so so description is not necessary assumptions are not necessary uh, connectors definitions are not necessary contact information is not necessary conclusion is not necessary okay we will do it in a4 we will name the time document name chassis model analysis you um, report paths so publish uh, report uh, okay model analysis <laughs> so it is generating the report and we will look at the report right away of course it is uh, i think it will give us uh, five amplitude which is prominent or a prominent mode which will cause the system to vibrate okay is this the result no the result are being generated okay that this is my model analysis one this is my model simulation uh, model uh, this is the date time model analysis and its time frequency so my content of information is this this is my chassis this is my load these are my fixtures and these are my volumetric properties this is my mass 25 kg density weight uh, now study properties frequency solid mass number of frequencies 5 solver type is this uh, uh, zero strain temperature is to 98 kelvin now material properties is alloy steel which has ld strength of uh, 620 megapascal and tensile strength of 723 megapascal uh, mass density is 7.7 7 kg per uh, uh, 7, uh, 700 7700 kg per meter cube elastic modulus position scales and scale one uh, is the given so this is these are my loaders these are my loads and these are my fixtures this is the mesh information uh, no sensor data of course these are my prominent uh, modes of vibrations okay and this is the mass participation this is more or less 
okay this is uh, it guys thank you for watching if you have any questions please